two desperate figures run for their lives, carrying with them the jungle's final and only hope. <laughs> How did it come to this? No, seriously, I'd like to know. Can, can we do a flashback or something? <laughs> Sweet. Thanks. Oh, potato fizzy legs. Got it. Just one more. <laughs> <laughs> Dirty bacon hairbrush. That's enough for the day. We'll finish my jungle taste report tomorrow. Oh, all licking and no eating makes George hungry. Me too. Hmm. What to eat, what to eat, what to eat. Mystery berries. <laughs> Meh, had for breakfast. Squash and beans? Had for lunch. Wounded zebra. That's a good friend. <laughs> Hey, what's that convenient noise? What's the big deal? It's just a dumb banana tree. Ha! Forgive them! Don't you know how important bananas are to all ape kind? This film will show you the delicious world of bananas. Warning, you will get wet. From your own drool. <laughs> Seriously, though, pay attention. Bananas, our most precious resource and our yummiest friend. Bananas. Like apes, no two bananas are the same. Bananas were first discovered at the sacred banana mating ground. Let's explore the three reasons we must protect these wonderful yellow mouth ticklers. Reason one, bananas are delicious. Eat them for breakfast, lunch, dinner, midnight snack, brunch, 11 Z's, tea time, supper, dejeuner, hypoglycemic snacks, regular snacks, post-snack snack snacks, pre-dinner, post-lunch, pre-snack snack, post-lunch, the second reason bananas are our most precious resource, they're not just for eating. You can use bananas as antiperspirant. Distress beacons. Uh, loyal and fun pets. Nothing says I love you like a banana. And the third reason bananas are so important, they're just so darn banana-y. <laughs> Every time. We never knew. That banana's so amazing. It's bananas! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Glad you finally understand what bananas mean to us apes. <laughs> Maybe we should try it with more bananas! Hmm. I call it the Thought Doer. Know what George thought doing right now? <laughs> You're taking things a little far. Wasting them now. Bananas can run out, you know. Ape, I'm a scientist. Natural resources can't run out. It's impossible. <laughs> what happened? I think we ate too many bananas. <gasps> Just bones left. <sighs> <gasps> What have you done? You used up all the bananas? All except for two? Oh, man, did we? But no biggie. There's other stuff to eat. You don't understand. It begins. Out of 
found in every banana are ancient monster genes. <laughs> Take control. Just slowly and quietly. Only one solution. You must. Oh no. Uh, it's okay. Run. Run for your lives. <laughs> <laughs> Must fix ape and save jungle. But there's only two bananas left. Okay, think, think, think. What do we do? Hmm. Yes? How ants remember all other ants' names? Oh, George would be terrible ant. Uh, wait, what question? Okay, okay. Is there another source of bananium? Hmm, maybe oranges? Those are full of orangium. Uh, it's totally different. What if we disguise the bananas as us and us as the bananas? Yes, then apes chase bananas and eat us instead. It's not gonna work. If we get more bananas, apes turn all huggable and not be fighty anymore. But how? Do I look like a banana magician? Like I do banana magic? Ooh, abracadabra. Spell no work, you terrible banana magician. I've got it. We'll use science to save the bananas from extinction and rescue Abe in the jungle to the sacred banana mating ground. <laughs> So, George and Magnolia carry the jungle's last chance for survival to the sacred banana mating ground. George. Okay, bananas, make banana babies. Go. Try moving them closer. Duh, of course. We can't do it if we watch. <laughs> Double duh. This will never work unless we set the mood. Much better. Wait, George, forget something. In case Santa hungry after deliver banana babies. George, Santa doesn't ex um doesn't love anything more than cookies. Hurry, make more bananas. You two want to play hardball? We can play hardball. Fire, George! Lightning always makes stuff work. <laughs> Roasty bananas. George, hold up eight monsters. Magnolia save bananas, okay? Hmm. George need to look good for final sacrifice. What are you doing? Uh, uh. Ah! This is all because we wasted precious natural resources! Me sorry, eat too many bananas! <laughs> and now you've learned your lesson. Oh, oh, oh wait. Uh, uh, hold on, I've got this. Uh, right, lesson learned. What? Apes not monster? <laughs> Get out! You pretended you were killer apes to prove a point? Did you really think we'd let you eat all our bananas? We saw you were getting greedy. So we held an emergency meeting to figure out what to do. We came up with a few schemes to stop you. Some thought we should cut you off immediately. But then we had a better idea.
Right. We oh, implemented yeah. Yeah. Operation Save All the Delicious Yummy Bananas from the Bad Bad People so we can eat them ourselves. Apes are terrible with code names. So you tore up an entire jungle to make a point about preserving part of the jungle? Sure, it sounds bad when you say it that way, but we had to be convincing. They were eating all our bananas. Come on, our bananas. <laughs> okay, yes, we learned our lesson. But you were the real monsters here. Come on, George, let's go. There's a whole jungle of things still to taste. George, no want taste yucky jungle things. George, stay here and lick this slug. <laughs> 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 mm. What? It's a good idea. Nature. It's soothing, beautiful, even smells pretty nice. But beneath all that fancy business, there's power. A thunderous waterfall can wear down solid rock. Powerful winds can bend the mightiest trees. The fury of lava can scorch the landscape and heat water so ducks can have a nice warm bath. Did I mention the wind? What I'm trying to say is, nothing can stop nature. Something stopping nature! That's overly dramatic, but also correct. Big Little River is down to a trickle. It's an ecological disaster. George, fix! Clear liquid plug up river! That's the water, George. <laughs> no time for jokes, ape. George, let me explain. River made of water? Same as lakes? Yes, and rain, and ice, even snow. They're all water. Stop! Don't make George dizzy. Oh, I ow. think we found the problem. <gasps> Those guys make log house. House stop water. Mystery solved. New mystery. Who are those guys? They're beavers. They're an invasive species. What? An invasive species is an animal that doesn't belong here. It all starts way up here in Canada, where, otherwise known as Castor Canadensis, beavers are not normally found in tropical climates. Responsible for the invention of the telephone and the handheld blender, beavers are nothing if not inventive. And that's where we get artificial strawberry flavor from. So you have to get rid of them before they ruin the jungle forever. Hey. George Wick, totally listen to science talk. Get rid of beavers right now! <laughs> Me, George, king of jungle! You beavers have king, queen, maybe super beaver? What are you, squirrels? Get back to work! Name's three tooth. Huh? Beavers got two teeth that stick out. Okay. I got three. So that's my name. And why I'm in charge! Oh. It's a system. What do you want? George, welcome you to jungle. Now leave jungle. Log house, stop river. Make big puddle on other side. Flood monkey baseball field. Beavers must go. No belonging jungle. Not natural. <laughs> Not natural? Take a look at the mirror, bub. You're human. You don't belong in the jungle neither. George. Human? Reality can take many forms. A sunbeam, a bolt of lightning, or a giant hammer that clobbers you in the jaw. That's just a metaphor, of course. What did you think you were? George think he was... a uh, George. Kinda like ape, sloth, lemur, banana thing. And one day, Lady George show up. George and Lady George make baby George, then we all return to home planet. You know what's funny? Until this very moment, I thought I knew what crazy was. Ape, no, George, human? Well, of course I did. And you kept it a secret? It wasn't a secret. He has thumbs and everything. After I found you in the orphan storm, we knew right away that you were human and that your diapers felt really bad. At first, you tried to be an ape. That didn't work out. Neither did being a bird. But soon you found your own identity and became king of the jungle. And the jungle needs its king to stop those beavers. But George, human now. If beavers no belong in jungle, neither does human George. Ha! Are you kidding? 
We humans go wherever we want, do whatever we want, take whatever we want. We rule the planet, see? What you gonna do, huh? Cry? Cry like a big, sad, crying ape, huh? Huh? Stop! Stop, stop it! I'll put you in the circus! Leave me alone! Magnolia's annoying, but also right. You just need to discover what it means to be human. Then you'll understand why you belong here as king of the jungle. But how George learned to be human, ape? How? If only we knew a human who could teach you. Hmm? Forget it! I'm not... Now, you two, be human. Okay, first thing you gotta learn, George, is that we humans are crazy smart. We think. Animals just do stuff or whatever. See? I'd never do that, cause I use my brain. Ah, here's a perfect example. I'm thinking what that crocodile could want. Hmm. Fum. It probably just wants a kiss or something, so I think it's harmless. Ta-da! Uh... And we humans are never wrong. <laughs> ah! I'm wrong! I'm so wrong! Help me, George! Ah! <laughs> Thanks for that. You throw a good crocodile. <laughs> The witch doctor is human. At least I think he is. Maybe he can help. Be gone, shark that blew. I have banished the evil shark from your lawn. Ahem. Mm -mm. Elephants make the best BLTs in the jungle. Monkey fit? What? Let Abernathy go. <laughs> yeah, well, next time, don't miss your cue. Oh, phew. Hey, elephants! It's okay! No shark! Just weird monkey! I tricked them. But why humans trick animals? Duh, for a bag of sandwiches. <laughs> Wait! George not learned enough yet! <sighs> you did the right thing, George. Cheer up! Look, I'm the shark monkey! Wait, I'm not. It's a hat! It's just a hat! Ah! There's only one more human who might be able to help. Ah! Hey, George scared. Desperate times call for desperate... Ah! Wait, we need your help. George not know how to be human. Ah! Ursula teach George? <laughs> Only one thing you need to know. This was a terrible idea. Hey? Being human means being scary. All animal afraid of Ursula. Babe! Wake up, babe! Hey! Good. Now Ursula can scare him again later. <laughs> I saw the other side. Okay. If George have to be human, then human have George to be. What? <laughs> this is beaver country now. Hey, beaver teeth! George know himself now. Beavers in big human trouble. Oh, really? And what are you gonna do, human? George use human pinky brain. <laughs> I ain't got all day, bub. Huh? Okay. Then George, use human tricky trick. Look, big monster behind you. Mm, nah. Fine. Then George, use human scary face. Use your what? <laughs> like I said before, humans don't belong in the jungle. And you are one terrible human. Beaver right. George, no good at thinking, no good being tricky, no good being scary. George, bad human. 
You saved Magnolia, stopped the witch doctor from lying, and brought me back from the afterlife. You may be a terrible human, but you're a great George. And this is where you belong. <laughs> Don't feel bad you're lost. We chew down trees and build awesome stuff. It's our thing. Chew trees? Yeah, those logs. Buddy, logs are trees. Logs are trees? George bash into trees all the time. Human George can't get rid of beavers, but George George can bash down log tree piles. How? There aren't any trees left to swing from. There be one. The tallest tree of all. Tree known to ages as Tim. <laughs> What's he doing? He's being himself. He's being George. Which one of you jokers left the tallest tree in the jungle? Huh? Ah, figures. Oh. 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 And that's why George King can belong in jungle. And George finally realized that his nature was not a human nature. It was his own. Talkie Skyboy's right. George lousy human. But George, good George. And all it took was the jungle to be clear cut and flooded. Maybe you wrecked a dam, but you made an enemy. An enemy with three T! You can be George Enemy. You can be whatever you want. <laughs>